Hi, I'm Jeff, and today I want to take you with me and show you the process that I use for making my own charcoal for my animals. So what we're doing here is I'm looking for a tree that has some dead limbs on it. I don't want rotted limbs, I want a solid core, but yet uh, it's got to be dead so that it's somewhat dry to the, to the inside. Uh, my pre the preferred species that I use is red oak. I don't know if it matters if it's species specific for the the quality of the of the charcoal that you're going for. Um, I just like red oak, and I've got a few that are available with some dead branches, uh, not too far behind my house. All right, and there we've got some dead branches up a little ways, and I brought my pole saw to get them. Once you get your branches compiled, then we can head back and we can get a fire started. Once you get your branches cut, hauled home, now's the time to cut them into pieces. The size of the pieces is dependent upon maybe the container that you're using to, to make the charcoal. Um, what I did was I cut the pieces about, uh, about four inches long, maybe five inches long. And then uh, they're about that big in diameter, some of them. Other ones are a little bit smaller. I just thought I'd make them uh, manageable. Because the way I'm doing it is I cut them into pieces like that. And then my container is a metal container. I made a, a lid out of some flat uh, aluminum. And then uh, I packed the, the pail full of, of all the pieces that I had, uh, trying not to leave as very much room, as all of this is gonna kind of break down and we're gonna end up with about, about two thirds of a pail of charcoal. So what I did beforehand was I got a fire started and as you can see there's some nice coals that are started and what I'm looking for here is just a bed of coals that I'm going to set the, the metal pail on so that we got heat uh, right away on the bottom of it and then I'm going to build a fire up around the outside of the pail. Once we get the pail set in the coals, then we can start building up some wood on the outside here. We don't want it to be super high, but we want a good good set of flames and building up more coals on the outside in order for it to, to burn down, uh, break down the inside, of the, the contents inside the pail. Where I work, we get a bunch of this uh, cut off pieces of uh, maple and cherry, uh, some alder, a little bit of oak. 
Uh, it's all really good wood, um, but I'm using it to make charcoal out of the wood front that we got in our backyard. So as this progresses, you're going to notice a few different things. We're going to have at the seam here, uh, you might have a different type of lid, but you're going to see different uh, different colors of stuff coming out of there. Right now we've got some steam that's coming out of there. Uh, it's kind of a whitish in color. If you notice like right in there, that white is not the, not the smoke from underneath, but it's what's inside there. Uh, and it's going to go from white to kind of like a gas gas substance where when it's coming out, it's actually going to ignite uh, when it exits from the pail. And then it gets clear, and then we end up with charcoal. So the whole process is going to take about two, maybe three hours with uh, cutting the wood, uh, making it into chunks, and then uh, keeping an eye on it around the campfire or wherever you're burning it, and uh, getting it burned down to a charcoal substance. And when you're finished, you should end up with something that looks just like this. It crumbles, um, and it's kind of in the same same style as what it was when you first started. And um, but the animals, they love it, and there's a lot of health benefits that come along with uh, feeding them charcoal. And that's all I have for you for today. Uh, I just want to let you know that if you're trying to make charcoal for uh, your home use for cooking up food and all of that stuff with, um, you're probably better off buying a bag at, uh, at your local store. Uh, this is a long process, it takes a long time. Uh, I'm doing it for my animals uh, so that I can feed it to them. It has digestive uh, properties that are very beneficial for them, uh, along with soil properties and uh, qualities that uh, it, uh, it enhances also. So um, that's the reason I'm doing it. I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't do it for uh, grilling your food on and all that stuff. So with that, I'm going to sign out and you have a good day.